Hi everybody, this is John Johnston, Corn Nation. This video is more of a personal nature than anything. Uh, my plan was to start making a lot more YouTube videos, but unfortunately about two weeks ago, my brain injury decided that it was uh, get, gonna start getting the better of me. And I know probably a lot of you know that a few years ago I had a heart attack and I was dead for a while, and because of that I ended up with a brain injury and out of the brain injury diagnosis I have many maladies and one of the things is that I have chronic headaches so every day I wake up with like a three right if you ranked your pain from zero to ten I, every day I wake up at a three and because it's a brain injury headache and not a regular headache um, you know you, you can't really take anything for it I mean you probably could I could do weed or something maybe but you know, I, I, I don't think it's good for the long-term cognitive effects. And, you know, my wife kind of deserves somebody that isn't a complete wasted person for a few years at least. Anyway, a few years ago, or a couple weeks ago, I started waking up with a 5 or a 7. Or a, or a, and when it gets to 8, it, it, pretty much I become non-functional. And the problem is the base has gone from three to five, so I wake up at a five. And the problem with that is going from a five to a seven or an eight is a lot easier. And it, when I when that happens, it happens because uh, I'm working on IT stuff that's particularly difficult and it requires concentration. I guess what I'm trying to tell you is, you know, I'm try I'm trying to work through this. Uh, I saw a neurosurgeon last week, and the first words out of her mouth were, we're going to get this fixed, which gave me a lot of confidence. Problem is, is it takes a while to figure out what's going on. Uh, one of the first things I did was take an eye tracking test. In other words, to track if your, uh, your eyes are moving the same to follow something, and I failed. So, uh, it's... My neurosurgeon said this because of some neurotrauma in my life, and I kind of went, wow, they said Nebraska football? Because that seems pretty fucking traumatic in the, for the last few years. Maybe that's the cause. Maybe I'm actually dreading the start of this football season, even though my comet of happiness could return. I mean, last night there was a football game on. It was the Hall of Fame game. I mean, it was pretty kind of cruddy, but it was still kind of football-y. You know, I can talk like this. It's probably fine. It doesn't hurt a lot. My problem is doing the research to do a, a truly good video. Like, I wanted to do a recruiting video that showed that Nebraska has actually recruited the rest of the Big Ten West over the past 10 years. Uh, I still need to review a book I wanted to present to you guys. Uh, there's a lot of other stuff that would require more research, and that's the problem. That's where I'm struggling is whenever I sit down and try to look at that stuff and try to go through it, um, I just, it's, it sucks. You know, that's the part. And I guess I feel like I should apologize, but I want to do more. I hope to do more. Uh, I hope you have some patience with me. Um, and also, I'm also doing this kind of because there's not a lot of brain injury awareness out there. And brain injuries are, you, when you leave the hospital and you have cancer, there's a whole community waiting out there to embrace you. When you leave the hospital with a heart attack, after you've had a heart attack, there's, they just kind of go, well, goodbye, we've cured your, hopefully fixed your trauma. And you're left to go out there with all this emotional fallout of anger and anxiety and depression. The same is true for brain injury survivors. And uh, it, it sucks. And it sucks because my life completely changed when I died. Wrote a book about it. It's linked in the, con in the description. Wrote another book for heart attack survivors. Wrote a book, short book, that's a freebie. You can go to my website and get it about the dent in my head, which probably will have more conversations about with my neurosurgeon in the near future because she's like really skeptical about the fact that I got a dent in my head when I was in a coma. But I did get a dent in my head when I was in a coma. And that's the other thing about having a brain injury. Most people don't believe the shit you say. 
Anyway, that's where I'm at. Hope to do better. Thank you for the patience. Uh, we'll talk soon. I am going to get through the opponent previews. And, uh, you know, if nothing else, I bought a fancy new mic so I could do stuff outside, and uh, I plan to use it. Take care of yourself, and, you know, the season's just around the corner. Go Big Red.